we've shown you gladiators battling it out in the startup arena and winning. We've shown you great passion, a lot of desire, but unfortunately, some of them will still crash and burn. We've shown you nervousness, chaos, self-doubt, even overconfidence, and we've exposed some fears. The world of startups is the most exciting space in Indian business and we have lifted that iron curtain. We showed you more than 50 amazing startups, companies that truly could go on to become market disruptors and change the world. Here's a quick look at some of them that we truly believe have the potential to become the next unicorn. Gladiators, Game Changers, Trailblazers, these are India's hottest, most combative and resilient startups. And we'll be choosing six disruptive ideas from 15 great ones. After all, not all can make the cut. Let's start with our first lot of stellar startups. Social Corps, a startup collecting data from the grassroots and selling it to big private giants and public organizations and aiming to change the world in the process. Our second pick is the young trio of Lazy Lad, a venture providing direct and fast access to neighborhood retailers at no extra cost. But will Kiryana stores their focus jump on the bandwagon easily? The founders of SmartWizX believe that virtual reality is going to become a consumer durable depending on application. Through its high-tech gear, this hardware startup creates interactive virtual scenarios based on immersive technology for businesses. While we love this startup's futuristic plans, we're going to wait and see if it survives the competition from tech giants like Facebook and Microsoft. Next up is an idea which all of us can make use of. Faircent is a marketplace where potential lenders and borrowers can register and then interact to strike deals on lending and borrowing. Well, peer-to-peer -peer lending is at a very nascent stage in India and Faircent's challenge might be in policy making. Changing the way India consumes its news is in shots a news curation platform that provides news and snippets of 60 words. This one understands the pulse of the information age. But will it survive the competition and retain editorial credibility? Here's another great idea. Transportation is a huge challenge for India and aiming to change the scenario is Zoomcar, a self-drive car rental company. Zoomcar rents out cars for an hour, day, week or month and claims its fleet is clocking over 2200 cars. But from cars on rent, my car, rev, two miles. Competition is aggressively knocking at the door. Can a startup help you find love? Well, Truly Madly is a matchmaking app that lets people discover each other through shared interests and personality profiles. Truly Madly raised rupees 35 crore in their first round of funding and is registering 100% month-on-month growth in downloads. Well, the opportunity for matchmaking apps is huge in India, but their challenge is to stay afloat. After all, how does one make consumers not just look for love, but also pay? This startup is aiming right for the moon, literally. This is Team Indus. The team of professionals from various backgrounds, science, technology, finance and media, is the only Indian team in the running to win the Google Lunar X Prize mission announced in 2007. And their mission is Moon 2.0, a challenge to land a robot on the moon. Team Indus has developed a rover which will roll out from the lander and travel at least 500 meters across the moon's surface. This idea and dream is enough to make our jaws drop. Well, from this competitive list of eight, we deliberated, discussed and debated and chose Fair Scent, Social Corps, Lazy Lad and finally Team Indus. So you've seen some of them. Lots more to be featured, but what are we going to do today? Well, we'll take all of these companies that we think has serious potential and run them through a super panel that will join us. Let's meet that panel. Our first mentor and panelist is Raman Roy. He is widely regarded as a pioneer and guru of the BPO industry in India. And when it comes to investing in startups, his judgment is sound, critical and is often regarded as the final word. Our second mentor and panelist is Raja Tandon, the Vice President of NASCOM 10,000 Startups. Raja is actively involved in scaling up the startup ecosystem in India and advises the many startups under NASCOM's 10K program to excel, expand and strategize. And our third and final panelist is a woman who calls a spade a spade and has taken her startup to a whole new level. 
This is Suchi Mukherjee, the founder and CEO of Limeroot, an online fashion retailer. Suchi's startup success story has served as a model for inspiration for many. A seasoned investor, a successful founder, and a mentor who coaches India's budding startups. These faces will help us pick out our final three. So that then was our super panel. We'll join the three right after the break. Right now, let's carry on with our potential unicorns. This one has shown growth at a remarkable pace. This startup empowers women from across India to create a look and buy it within seconds. This one is a success story which is one for the books. Rohan and Swati Bhargav's Cash Karo offers cashback and coupons from over a thousand partner websites and claims to credit over rupees 20 crores across a million registered users as cashback. With a big name like Ratan Tata backing this venture, the only challenge facing the founders is the overcrowded segment they operate in. The next one is looking right at the sun for sustenance. Azure Power is a solar power producer founded by Indrapreet Vadha and has developed India's first utility scale solar project in 2009 in Punjab. This one is leaving behind the very tag of a startup and has been at the forefront of developments in the sector as a developer and constructor. Optimizing on India's backbone, agriculture, it's Crop Connect, a startup which connects farms directly to consumers. But our mentors feel that this bootstrap startup still appeals more to hobbyists than a huge market and the founders need to work on customer acquisition to become a need for India's health conscious population. Hardware startups may just decide the future of India and one of the names leading the charge will be Car IQ, which aims to make cars smarter by connecting them to the cloud and allowing the car and its driver to make decisions based on real-time data. Well, while Team Unicorn applauds the founders for venturing into auto precision technology, we'll wait and see if this plug-and-play device can be adopted by the masses. And solving your day-to-day -day problems with an app is the team behind Urban Clap, a one-stop destination for supposedly trusted professional and home services. But can they equip their network of professionals with expertise and credibility? We'll have to wait and see. Started by two IIT graduates, Chayos offers more than 12,000 varieties of tea and even has a Chai on demand service. The founders have the potential, the scale and the product. But can they replace coffee as a social beverage? And from this list of ambitious startups, we have shortlisted two more. Lime Road and Chayos. It's time now for the big one. From the top six that we actually called out, the super panel will choose the top three all on the other side of the break. <laughs>